Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're checking out this video. It's your girl Deshaun LaFay with the Deshaun LaFay Experience coming at you again with another thought provoking video. Today's subject is Narcissist, 50 50 Pick Me Chicks, and the Hebrew Israelite community. If this is something you're interested in, then just keep watching. So listen, let's just get to it. I was in the Hebrew Israelite community for over 10 years. Uh, it is a religion that is based on the concept and the theory that the so-called slaves in the transatlantic diaspora are the chosen people spoken of in the Bible uh, as far as um, the Hebrew Israelites that are speaking of that are spoken of in the Bible are believed to be the same people that were captured so-called captured and brought over to the Americas in the transatlantic slave trade and that the people in Israel are fake Jews okay so when you get a little deeper into it I mean when you get a little deeper into it it's basically a knockoff of the Christian religion taking the white face off the white Jesus and putting a black face on the black Jesus basically this is my take on it okay uh, in the Hebrew community the he Hebrew Israelite community I'm sorry y'all <laughs> my mouth's not working um, it is a patriarchal society where the men are definitely dominant they teach the women that they are subservient that they are to be servants and slaves to their husbands that whatever their husband says goes and they use scripture after scripture after scripture to beat that into the psyche, subconscious, self-esteem, ego, and self-love, self-worth portions of the female brain. To the point where there was one girl that said if her husband told her to clip and eat his toenails, she would have to do it. Okay. All right. So this type of community this type of mindset is a playground for the narcissist because it is full of 50 50 pick me chicks and a 50 50 pick me chick is a masculine woman that believes it is her duty her job her responsibility to help provide and pay financially spiritually physically and emotionally into the relationship to help be a helpmeet to the husband so if he wants her to work 40 50 60 hours a week give him all the money then that's what she has to do in addition to keeping up the house washing cooking cleaning keeping herself up not letting herself go and being emotionally physically uh, emotionally and physically available and ready for her husband whenever he needs her and she is more than willing to do this because she feels that she has to prove her worth in order to be present in the relationship okay so those two elements the patriarchal Hebrew Israelite community which dictates and states that women are less than men women will not be able to go into the kingdom unless they're married to a man women are to be silent women are not to teach anything women are supposed to keep themselves covered up and the responsibility of lustful eyes and men is theirs and theirs alone and if uh, they come outside in any sort of provocative way, they have caused uh, a man to lust. They are the progenitors of sin because in the garden, the woman provoked the man to eat of the fruit, so on and so forth. So a narcissist falling off into this situation uh, and finding a 50-50 pick-me chick is in heaven, trust and believe, because... The woman is open and believes that it's her job and her duty to prove her worth. The man, narcissist, 
or it could be a female, but in this situation it's men. We're talking about narcissistic men looking for 50-50 female chicks. Uh, the narcissist is only looking for a supply to admire them, lift them up on a pedestal, give them that ego boost that they need, the financial support, the emotional support, the physical support as far as being able to have sex whenever they want, uh, all of that. And then when you throw in the mix the whole polygyny thing, because Hebrew Israelites believe that they are allowed to have more than one wife and that it is ordained by God for them to do so. And if a woman has any type of anything inside of her against it, then she is full of evil, the Jezebel spirit. She needs to pray and remove that from herself so that she can give her man his just due and what he's supposed to have as a man. Because men are supposed to have whatever they want in the Hebrew community. They are allowed to walk. No. Yeah, they're allowed to walk all over women, and they feel as though they can walk on water. No consequences come to them because God is totally with them. Whatever they do, you know, it's it's it, it's it is what it is. They can talk to women harshly. They can they can come on your Facebook page and totally, uh, you know, go against your opinion, tell you you're wrong for having it, talk about you, and throw a million damn scripts at you to prove their point. So you throw a narcissist in there, oh, he's going to beat that woman down into the ground and run her until she cannot be run anymore. And it's a sad situation. I see it so many times. Unfortunately, I was in that situation. I was with a narcissistic man. I was very 50-50 uh, pick-me-ish. I thought that I had to prove my worth because I was raised by a narcissistic grandmother who subconsciously taught me that I was only worth uh, I was only worth any type of attention or affection or love when I made her look good, when I did well in school, when I you know was everything had to be centered around her and making her look good, and if I did that, then I was rewarded, you know, accordingly. If I didn't do it, then I was punished accordingly. Right. So, um, the man that I ended up with in the Hebrew community um, lied to me constantly. He was a narcissist, so please do not get what I'm saying twisted because I'm sure there's going to be some people, not our Hebrews, we're not talking about the regular Hebrew Israelite man that is egotistical in nature. We're not, that's, that's a whole nother ball of wax. I'm speaking of a narcissist that has fallen into the Hebrew community and has found a plethora of 50-50 pygmy women to choose from to feed his narcissistic supply need. He needs narcissistic supply. He needs adoration. He needs admiration. He needs a woman to cater to him and fall all over him and give herself to him and just give, 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 give without asking anything in return. And that scenario, that community is set up for that type of a situation. If you are a woman with self-esteem and you fall into the Hebrew community, the doctrines and the way that the scriptures are presented to you will make you feel as though there's something wrong with you if you want to have any sort of self-esteem, if you want to have any sort of life outside of your husband, if you want to feel as though you're valuable outside of your husband, that is not going to... that mindset is not going to be perpetuated or induced or or cultivated in women in any way so a narcissist will find a 50 50 pick me chick in the hebrew community and roll her like a hay haystack in a in a ghost town like a tumbleweed that's how she's gonna feel like a tumbleweed and he's steady running behind her blowing oh my goodness She's going to work, she's going to cook, she's going to clean, she's going to uh, dress down her looks, she's not going to wear makeup, she's going to cover up her hair, she's going to cover up her body, she's going to do everything and anything to please this man. And then the narc is never pleased. And then they're going to use the scriptures to justify what they're doing. It's a whole sad, sick mess, I'm telling you. So... What do you guys think? What you guys think? 
Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about what I'm saying? Is it true? Uh, do you find a lot of narcissists in the Hebrew Israelite community? Do you think that it is a playground for them? What do you think about the 50-50 chicks that find their way into the Hebrew community? Do you think that they're abused and used? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. If you found any use in this video, if you found anything interesting, if you liked it, please like the video, share the video with someone else that you think may benefit. If uh, you really, really like my comment, if you would subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome sauce. Other than that, that's pretty much all I wanted to say on the subject. Let's get it going in the comment section. Let's get a discussion going. I'd like to see what you think. All right. All right, you guys. Well, this has been the Deshaun LaFay Experience. Once again, I am your hostess, Deshaun LaFay. Thanking you. Loving you. When, ah, I'm sorry. Sending you all my love, hearts, and kisses. All right, I got to go. But you know, as always, your girl is going to be back.